On this episode, we're going to be checking out Generation Kill. It's called Episode Scrooby. Uh, another great episode from this series, which uh, it's not bad. you got to watch it. Check it out. Holding area Chevy, carrying four Hellfire, four toes. Misfit 2 1, this is Recon 3. Saw my copy on check in. Stand by for 6 1. Let's break it down for everybody, all right? Hand me the bulk of Outstanding job yesterday, gentlemen. Can I help you with something, Gunny? Sergeant, yesterday we had a trial by fire. Come on. I want you to know, Brad, that I'm here for you and your men. Come on. Are there any combat stress reactions anyone needs to talk about? Uh, Remember, I'm a certified combat stress instructor. All right, right away, man, right away in this episode, that damn MRE spoon that's in the kit. Man, I hated that people wearing that spoon. It makes you look unprofessional, and that stupid MRE spoon that's sticking in his kit, it bothered the shit out of me. Damn. I just want to take it out and stomp on it. PRC Christensen. Now, how far you make it from the berm to the edge of that hut? About 100 meters. 120. Not bad. About 225. See that beehive shaped thing? Yeah. That's where they cook their bread. It's always gonna show hot in the thermal. It's all about the windows and doors, man. Entrances and exits. Scooby. What these guys are doing is a recon. Just recon in the village. You're just sitting there watching. Um, in this scene, they make an awesome sketch. Because while you're reconning, you're gonna do a, what's called a range card. Uh, you're going to make known targets and make sure you know how far the range is to each one of those targets. So in case, you know, shit hits the fan, you you know exactly how far the target is. Uh, if you look at the sketch of this, it's it's spot on. Really good. Be advised, we are taking inaccurate fire from the northeast. Ah! Son of a Stop. Bravo 3, you got an order from Hitman. Been receiving you such order? Sir, this is contrary to our SOP. We're bunched up in the open. That town is definitely hostile. Push your security out farther. Let's make the best of this. Yes, sir. I'm gonna find the captain. It's only punch up 20. Push. Leah, Christopher, punch out 20. Go, 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 go! In this scene, uh, you see a platoon leader, and he, he uh, you have to assess the situation. They're stopped, they're bunching up. And uh, the officer makes a decision. He has to see what's going on. Um, he makes a plan. And he makes decisions and based on that plan, pushes people out and wants to go forward with whatever plan he chooses. So uh, this is actually great execution. I'm going to call this one in right now. Sir, that's a c***ing arrow over 200 meters, sir. That's danger close for artillery. Danger close. Once uh, they want to call in uh, fast mover artillery, it, they see it's danger close, within 200 meters. Uh, rule of thumb, you want to be about 600 meters away, so 200 meters is really, really danger close. So uh, what they're going to do is really dangerous right now. Hey, looks like Alpha hit something with that. I guess it pays to have the right protocols when you're calling in a fire mission. I don't see any muscle flashes. Why do we have to see them? Charm, we shut up. All right, just a quick note. It, if you're gonna do a close up on a machine gunner, make sure they're real rounds. It, this one, you can see the crimped, uh, the, the crimped points on it. You, you can see they're blanks, but I'm all about realism. Just make sure they're real rounds. This is Godfather. Godfather actual has declared all Iraqis hostile in proximity to the objective. I'll copy, over. Affirmative, copy that. Godfather just changed the rules of engagement. He's lowered the bar. Shit, he's removed the bar. New ROE has all Iraqis on or near that airfield declared hostile. Brian! I see men running 200 meters, 10 o'clock. Are they armed? There's something. Well, the order is everyone's declared hostile. Light them the f up. It's cool. 
this scene is every soldier's wet dream. Everything is declared hostile. And uh, you see it, you shoot it. But you still want to have positive identification. So uh, the, that saw gunner that's in the back seat, he, uh, he just starts opening fire just because he was given the order. I mean, he was given the order that everything's hostile. So he just started shooting. It's going to haunt him later on in this episode. Once they got to a, an attack position where they could spread out, you could see that all the vehicles got online and all everyone was pointing forward. So this is they're in assault position. They are definitely assaulting now. Everyone online. This is Hitman Two. Affirmative. They appear to be stationary. No personnel. Hitman Two. This is Hitman Two Three. I have an unmanned CPU. Fifty Seven Attack Two. Appears to be a man. Over. Two Three. This is Two. Copy that. Notice the Humvees. Back in 03, we didn't have all those high-speed up-armored Humvees. You rolled with what you were given. And you could see most of these Humvees, they don't have doors. There's no armor. But that's how we rolled. It, it was exactly like that. So this is actually a great scene. Copy. Sergeant? What? I just lost my helmet. What do you want to do, hold a funeral? Sergeant, we ain't going back for it, okay? What's this about you losing your Kevlar? Bounced off your head. I was up on the 50 cal and the Humvee went over a berm, Sergeant Major. That Kevlar wasn't yours to lose! That was the property of this United States Marine Corps! Belong to every Marine! Cause the old failure to secure that Hemet, you jeopardized every Marine serving today! Alright, and this one with the Sergeant Major with the, the helmet issue. Um, typical Typical way a Sergeant Major would react. He's not caring about the dude. He's caring about the equipment that belonged to the Marine Corps. You know, that most Sergeant Majors, I don't know. I don't understand what they're thinking sometimes. But it was just funny how he put it, that that helmet belonged to the Marine Corps. Shot by that asshole Trombley, Brad. This kid's been zipped by 556 from Trombley, so. I'm responsible. Yeah. So why don't we bring Trump to here and see what he's done? <laughs> don't say that. It, it was my order. After we realized that uh, we had caused these casualties, uh, I like responsibility of the leadership. He was in, he was the leader of that vehicle. He gave the order to fire, and he takes responsibility rather than the soldier who actually shot the rounds. That's what being a leader is all about. You take responsibility for your actions. And what a great scene, how he took responsibility for him firing on those kids. In this episode of uh, Generation Kill, um, I love the realism. I loved everything about it. I, I'd give it five out of five. Uh, center mass. Uh, I, I loved everything about it. Uh, continue to watch. It was a great episode. And uh, thanks for watching again. Uh, if, if you have any comments, free, feel free to make it. Bad, good, I, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, talk to us. Let us know what you think.